bacon taste test. Low sodium versus regular. This week there was a sale on this particular brand of bacon. I have just a couple partial pieces left of the regular bacon, hardwood smoked bacon. This is lower sodium bacon. Now because it was on sale for $1.99 a pound instead of three or four or five dollars like it normally is, it was ransacked. There was hardly any left except in the lower sodium bin. And then they were full of packages and look, look how much meat's on there all the way across. I usually look for it equally distributed because I cut it up in small pieces and it lasts me a long time. We're going to do a taste test today to see if there's a taste difference between lower sodium bacon and regular bacon. How much of a difference there might be. So we're going to try that. Well, the bacon is finished. First, I'm going to try a piece of the low salt bacon. Real hammy. Yummy. Bacon meat candy. <laughs> And then between that and the salted one, I washed the pan out so there's no cross juices or anything. So here's the salted one, the regular one. Mm. I can taste more of the fat. I guess salt brings out the tastes of things. But they taste like bacon and I think I, I got a really good deal for all those people that were rooting through the regular bacon passing up the low sodium bacon because to them that means I don't want to admit I'm fat I have to have less salt I don't know but I was very fortunate found the limit was to buy of them was three packages I bought three and they all have beautiful strands striated meat through there I lucked out this will last me quite some time because I usually cut it up in pieces like this if I have it for breakfast or uh, just a few bits at a time or I put it in potato salad or something. It'll last me a while, but low sodium bacon. Give it a try. Upward and onward. <laughs>